Welcome to this very exciting video. In the previous videos we took some photos, we printed them, and in this video we're gonna try 3D printing one of my photos. So, so the technique we're gonna use is basically like this. We're gonna make a sheet of plastic with one of my photos, and where the photo is bright, we're gonna make the sheet of plastic thin, and where the photo is dark, we're gonna make the sheet, sheet of plastic thick. And then when we pass a light from behind the photo, shine a light, it's gonna go through the thin areas and it's not gonna go through the thick areas, which allows us to see the photo from the other side. And we can vary the thickness of the sheet of plastic depending on the intensity or brightness of the photo. It seems complicated, but it's really not. Uh, it's easy to execute and the results are amazing. <laughs> so let's go and try it and uh, see the results. Let's start. The first step is to take the photo and convert it into a 3D model. I've chosen this photo, the bird photo, I like it. I think it's simple and still it has different light uh, intensities which will test the technique that we are going to use. So first I just cropped the photo to have the right size and exported it. Then we go to this free website which will convert the image into a 3D model with, with different thicknesses told you it's simple and then we drop our photo in the website and we choose outer curve to have it standing and curved outwards then we go to image settings and we change from negative to positive and then we go to model settings and here we put the maximum size that we want to print and for me I know that I'm gonna print it at 280 millimeter maximum size and for my application that I'm gonna use this one, I need the curve to be 160 degrees. And that's it, this is the result. It already converted the image into different thicknesses, simple. And when we're happy, we just hit download. And that exports an STL file for us that we can use. Now that we have the 3D model, we can just go and prepare it for printing and print it. But because I want to put it on a lamp and have it as decoration at home, I want to design a base to attach it to this 3D model and this base can go on the lamp. So let's go through this very fast because it's not a necessary step. But if you have any questions about it, just put it in the comments. Let's go. So I started by designing the dimensions that I need to design for and then I moved to Fusion 360 here and designed the base. And then I exported it as well as STL file. And then I opened Blender and I added the base and added the 3D model and merged them together. That's a lot, but now it's the last step. We have the 3D model ready. We can give it to the 3D printer to print. So we take it to a software called the Slicer. We put our 3D model in the Slicer. There are a lot of settings here for 3D uh, printing, but you can keep the basic ones. Then just position it correctly and then slice. And you can see how much time it's gonna take and how it's gonna behave. And that's it, now it's ready. Let's give it to the printer to print. And finally, it has finished printing. 
It took almost 17 hours. Let's remove it from the printer, from the build plate. Dun, dun, dun. Needs cleaning, but I'll do that later. Now I'm excited to see if it fits on the lamp or not. Let's see if my measurements were correct. Nice, it fits. Now the moment of truth. Does it work? Yes, it works! Oh my god, look at that. 3D printed photo, can you believe that? Can you believe that 3D printing produced this one? Look, even the leaves, we can see the leaves. Now let's clean it up and put it as a decoration and see how it looks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then we had some sunlight, so I tried to test it to see if it's gonna work with sunlight only. And it worked as well. That means I don't need a lamp to make it work. I'm definitely going to print more of my photos and putting them all around the house, all around the windows. And then when sunlight comes, I will be able to see them. And then I decided to make a gift for a friend, so I took some of her photos and I made this for her. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any question about any of the steps that we were in the video, just uh, let me know in the comments. I will try to answer them all or make a video about them. And if you like this type of content, you want to see more like this or like this, just subscribe to the channel and we will make more.